I'm not saying it makes his job impossible. It just makes it harder, and it might be sophomoric stuff with players or you know, people in the locker room, you know, snickering on, or, or giggling or whatever. I'm not saying it's appropriate. It just is going to happen, and he, and he knows it, and he's prepared to deal with it. Especially I when assume. you're dealing with 22-year-old kids. Yeah. Just right. out, just out of the frat house. Twenty-two-year-old, you know, the, macho kids. Right, right, the, exactly. Just out of the frat house. I mean, it. it there are certain places where, uh, you know, the, maybe the the world hasn't uh, evolved or advanced as much as others. I think you're talking about, like I said, it, the newsroom at the Herald, the, the studio here, wherever else he goes. And I would say the locker room. I, 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 out, of, out of your mind. I think you're, you're underestimating. Out of your mind how much people have put this uh, as a back burner issue, that it doesn't matter, it doesn't affect my life, it's not contagious, I, 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 you know, he's not looking at me in, in a sexual kind of way. Yeah, That's mind. all behind them. Now, I'm not suggesting that at the end of a Patriots game, if he's walking on the field or, or in a situation where fans and drunks and, and cretins of the world have access to him, that there may not be some comments, of course. But I don't think there will be any kind of reaction negative that he'll even notice so in think, the Red Sox clubhouse or in the Patriots locker room or in the Celtics or Bruins locker room either. I, I couldn't disagree more. You think 23, 24 year old fans will give him a hard time, but 23, 24 year old players? Correct. Correct. Don't mind at all. Well, most fans won't give him a hard time either. I, but you I, know, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry you read some Jerry. Will. This is so commonplace, Jerry. This is in every aspect of life. And I guarantee you that most of those athletes have people in their family or people they are friends with or people they are acquaintances with who know them as people who who are either friends or, or restaurant owners or somebody that they do business with or somebody that they have some kind of relationship who also happen to be gay. This isn't 1975 anymore. It is in the locker room. Meter is absolutely right. It is in sports.